All right, hello everyone. We are going to learn how to create our cylindrical mugs today and we're just going to focus on getting the body of our mug. Um, reminder that it is cylindrical, so um, all of our bodies should look the same, pretty much. Um, so our first step would be to make a template. Now this template is just a piece of paper folded in half just a regular old piece of printer paper. It gives me a 4.5 height and 11 inches long. To get an idea of what that's gonna look like with your clay, you can start to kind of form a cylinder with your paper. You can see, you can kind of get an idea of what the body of the mug is going to look like in the shape okay you can also do a little bit taller about five inches and you can go a little bit shorter if you're going for a little bit more of a skinnier mug not too skinny please okay so this is four and a half by eleven. Four and a half by eleven okay so we are going to get started now I've already pre-rolled my two slabs and I'm working on my canvas. My canvas is going to keep my clay from sticking to the table and it's also going to help it dry out a little bit. So you're going to want to do a little bit longer slabs since we have a longer template. You want to make sure that's going to fit on top. Now before you begin you always want to compress your clay. I'm going to go in one direction and then I'll go in the other and then I will flip. Remember, compressing the clay is smoothing it out and it is also adding more strength to it by compressing the clay particles. Yeah. And then you just wanna double check, make sure your slab is nice and even because when we cut it out, we want to make sure our piece is nice and even. I can tell it's a little bit thinner over here and it's a little bit thicker in the middle. So I am just going to roll it out just a little bit, try and get it a little bit more even. Alrighty. And I'm going to compress again just to make sure it's all nice and even. Alright, we are all good. Now, I've got my slab all nice and compressed. I'm going to lay my template over it. Now, you're going to have a lot of um, excess. Okay, I used about four handfuls of clay. Um, you just want to make sure your template fits in the space. It fits in the area of your slab. Okay, so I'm going to shift mine over because I can use this piece at a later step. Okay, so I have this down. And I'm actually going to use a ruler so I get nice, clean edges. Okay, so just like we did with our tiles with cutting out pieces, I am going to now cut out my pieces. And this clay is still fresh, so I would bag it and you can re-wedge it for either details or your handle, 
whatever you want. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I'm just going to roll it up. Looks like a nice cinnamon, cinnamon roll. Don't need it though. <laughs> All right, and then with this extra piece, I'm going to need this extra piece for a later step. So you can just set that to the side. And then I'm going to take my template off. So now I have my nice rectangle. Okay. And yes, it's supposed to be um, one fourth inches thick, so please be sure to do that. Now, since this isn't very long, I'm going to show you how we are going to attach it to make it into our cylinder. Now, since this is being hand built, it's not going to be exactly perfect, which is okay, but I like to keep mine sitting up so it doesn't get too flat in an area and I can get a perfect cylinder, as perfect as it can get, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I need to make little angles here because if I try to attach it here, it's gonna be weak, it's gonna be flimsy, it's gonna break. So my first step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in at an angle. I'm gonna uncurl this just a little bit and I'm gonna cut at an angle okay. So I'm cutting at this angle as you can see. Um, so the clay can overlap and it'll be just a stronger bond. It'll be just a stronger attachment. Now with the other side, I have to go in the opposite direction. So they line up, they fit, and they overlap. So. So now I have both of my angles, and no, it's not perfect, but that is okay. And I can see where it is going to overlap and where it's going to fit. Okay. Now, like when with attaching anything, we must score, slip, weld to make sure these pieces aren't going to uh, come apart. Okay, these mugs are meant to be functional. They are meant to be drank out of. So you want to make sure there's no cracks and there's not gonna be any leakage. Okay, I'm gonna grab my slip. I'm not gonna need a lot since the clay is still pretty in a pretty good stage. So. so I'm gonna blend the outside first just because it is a little bit easier. The inside, you don't wanna make your mug too skinny because as you can see, um, you're gonna have to fit your hand in there. 
and that can prove to be very difficult if it's too skinny. It'd be like sticking your hand in a Pringles jar. So something you would be able to use to smooth out the inside is maybe a spoon if it's too tall. My fingers get in there just fine. Um, and then I'm gonna flip it to get the other side. We never want to hold it on it, the side itself. We either want it sitting on the top or bottom because then we can lose that cylindrical shape that we have. That's what we're going for. We're going for that cylindrical shape. All right, so I have my cylinder. Didn't take too long at all. I can keep smoothing it out. I can keep checking the inside. Um, I can take my little baby sponge. Baby sponge. I can take my little baby sponge and I can smooth it on the inside. And then when I am done, I can wrap this up and then I can move on to the next step. But I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, just make it look a little bit nice. All right, show you the inside. You can see through it. And that is it.